Now properties one through five are true whether a is less than b, a is equal to b, or a is greater than b. The following properties in which we compare sizes of functions and sizes of integrals are true only if a is less than or equal to b. The comparison properties of integral of the integral. Number six, if the function is greater than or equal to zero and x is in between a and b inclusive, then the integral that goes from a to b of f of x dx is greater than or equal to zero. If f of x is greater than or equal to g of x, for when x is in between a and b inclusive, then the integral of f of x dx from a to b is going to be greater than or equal to the integral of g of x dx going from a to b. In property number eight, if the value of m is less than or equal to f of x, which is less than or equal to capital M, for when x is in between a and b inclusive, then m times b minus a is less than or equal to the integral of the function f of x dx from a to b, which is less than capital M times b minus a. Now, if f of x is greater than or equal to zero, then that integral represents the area under the graph of f. So the geometric interpretation of property six is simply that areas are positive. It also follows directly from the definition because all the quantities involved are positive. Now property seven says that a bigger function has a bigger integral. It follows from property six and four because f minus g is greater than or equal to zero. Now property eight is illustrated by the figure below for the case where f of x is greater than or equal to zero. Now if f is, a, is continuous, we could take m, which is located here, and capital M to be the absolute minimum and maximum values of that function. So here's the minimum, here's the maximum on that interval from a to b. So in this case, property eight says that the area under the graph of f is greater than the area of the rectangle with height m and less than the area of the rectangle with height m. Now here's proof for the property eight. Since we know that the minimum is greater than or equal to, is less than or equal to f of x, which is less than or equal to the maximum, property seven gives us the following. The integral from a to b of m dx is less than or equal to the integral, which is less than or equal to the integral from a to b of the maximum. Now, using property one to evaluate the integrals on the left and the right sides, then we obtain m, which is the constant, times b minus a, which is less than or equal to the integral. And then over here, we take the constant, which is the absolute maximum of m, times b minus a. Now, property eight is useful when all we want is a rough estimate of the size of an integral without going to the bother of using the midpoint rule.